Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Okay, nice. I'm having trouble with my with my glasses today. <laughs> Every day we have something, huh? <laughs> something comes up. Okay, now yes, I think it is ready. Uh, I see I see better. I see. <laughs> okay, there we are. How is your baby? Um yeah, dormido. Sleeping. 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 Okay, he's sleeping. Good. Nice. So <laughs> <laughs> si no, no me deja. No me yeah. deja. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell. Siempre. He's very active. Mm -hmm. very. He's very active. I, I, mm -hmm. I saw him. Oh my God. He moves a lot and he wants to, to talk and he wants to participate in the class, huh? Yeah, yes. sometimes he wants to see what you are doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's very interesting how children. Yeah. Is it raining? Is it raining over there? How's the weather? ¿Cómo está el clima por ahí? How's the weather? Is it mm. raining? Raining? No. Oh, okay. No. Nice. No. Nice. Yeah, some some of your classmates are, um, are having problems with the connection because of the rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher, tengo una consulta. Tell me, tell me. ¿Cómo, cómo puedo hacer para, para saber cómo pronunciar, por lo menos decir una palabra? O sea, eh, creo yo que algunas palabras, yo sé que el teacher anterior nos explicaba que eh, según, según, por lo menos, la palabra es, si lleva una vocal al inicio, pues de ahí cómo tomar una opción para poder por, por, por poder pronunciarla, por, por decirle uva, por lo menos great. Eh, se escribe grave, pero se pronuncia great. ¿Sí? Y es el caso, eso es lo que me confunde mucho, está watch. Watch, o sea, la A es al principio, pero se pronuncia watch TV, por lo menos por decirle, no es, y la A significa A, ¿sí? Entonces no es watch TV. Entonces eso es lo que me confunde un montón. Oh, ok. Yeah, and, and, and that's... Um... That's common. It's not only you. It's not only you with that problem. Everybody who speaks Spanish have that problem. Why? Uh, this is because in our language, the letters don't sound the same, okay? Cuando usted lee en español, usted sí tiene el mismo sonido, pero en inglés, you don't have that the same sound. Para las vocales hay 14 sonidos diferentes, ¿ok? Nosotros ah, decimos, okay. ajá, nosotros decimos cinco vocales, ¿va? En, en, en español. Mm -hmm. A, E, I, O, U y no cambia, ¿verdad? No cambia. En todas vamos a decir iglesia, ¿verdad? vamos a decir 
árbol. A, mira, la O. Vamos a decir lo mismo, pero en inglés no. Hay una materia que sí le recomiendo mucho que vea videos. Si usted gusta, puede eh, para ir eh, reforzando esa parte. Hay videos uh -huh. de la materia letters and sounds. Letters and okay. sounds, sonidos y letras. And usually you are going to find that for kids. Lo va a encontrar eh, prácticamente como para niños, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Para adultos lo que hay es el sonido de cada letra del alfabeto, ¿verdad? Eh, puede buscar también, voy a tratar de mandarles un link para que vea también, es un poquito largo ese video que que me, me gusta porque les explica todo acerca de los 14 sonidos de las vocales, que es lo que usted está batallando, ¿verdad? Porque uh, son sonidos, son sonidos. Entonces, la letra A, por ejemplo, pues A, A, O, ¿verdad? Tiene varios sonidos. Y la O tiene otros sonidos, más cuando se juntan dos letras, por ejemplo, book, ¿verdad? book uh -huh. son dos O, entonces tienen un sonido. Umbrella, al principio no se dice umbrella, se dice umbrella. Uh -huh. umbrella. Entonces cada letra tiene un sonido y las vocales no son como en español, que son cinco en español, son catorce. Y hay un okay. sonido extra, un sonido en el que unos dicen sí es sonido, otros dicen no, pero entonces hagamos cuenta y caso que son quince sonidos, ¿verdad? Ok. De las vocales. Les voy a enviar el link por el, por el WhatsApp para que usted esté, uh, lo vea en su tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque tiene que practicar los sonidos e identificar en la escritura de las palabras. Pero lo mejor de todo para aprender a pronunciar es aprender bien el vocabulario, eh, perdón, el abecedario. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Ok. Thanks. My pleasure. Okay, everyone, I, I think everybody heard that tip uh, for pronunciation. To improve your pronunciation, you should study um, or practice the sounds of each letter from the ABC, okay? It's important. Hi, everybody, how are you tonight? How are you doing? Very good, very good. And you, teacher? Nice. I'm fine too. Thank you. Thank you very That's much. That's good. Okay. I see everybody's here. Well, almost everybody. Uh, and some are joining. Um, okay. Let's see. Yes. Oh, we have four minutes after eight. So we are going to start taking the attendance. Okay. Let me go there. And let's start. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Person teacher. Okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. ¿Alguien de ustedes conoce a Alexis? ¿Es compañero de alguno de ustedes? No, teacher. No, okay, okay. Ana Cristina Sandoval Morales. Oh, Ana Thank Cristina you. Okay. Flores. Yeah, because I was reading about Alexis. I'm so sorry, Ana Cristina. Okay, thank you very okay. much. <laughs> Ana Cristina Chavarria. I changed your name. Oh my God. <laughs> Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Ok, José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. 
Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Ok, Karina. Um, Carla Verónica Suria López. Present teacher. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. ¿Alguien es compañero acá de Luis Roberto? Yo, teacher. Oh, ok. Quiero que me lo animes porque eh, estaba revisando su porcentaje y él puede hacer las actividades en la plataforma. Anímamelo, por favor. Yo estuve enviándole mensajes, pero quisiera que se contactara. ¿Oíste? Si me haces favor. Ok, yo ¿Qué? le voy a decir. Porque okay. solo, creo que solo una clase recibió nada más, solo, solo okay. un día. Okay. Dijo que no, no tenía muchas ganas de seguir, pero yo le digo. Ok, anímemelo, porfa. Ok. Bueno. Gracias. Uh, María Elena Romero de Galvez. Ah, María Elena es que tiene ahorita el problema que no hay luz, ¿verdad? Nancy y Beto Bar Rivera. Present teacher. Ok. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Ok, Raquel. Eh, ahora es su turno hoy eh, para la asesoría uno a uno. Ok, teacher. Ok, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present, teacher. Ok. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Ok. Only was missing Carlos. Ok. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Ok, there we are. Okay, dear people, today we are going to start um, with, uh, excuse me. Present. Este, hey, hello, ya, Vladimir. <laughs> Excellent. Hello. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to check you in, okay? Just. Let me check you in. Vladimir. Yeah. Okay, the first activity is to make a little feedback about saying the dates, okay, about saying the dates. I'm going to share my screen with you and you are going to do the match, okay? You are going to do the match. Just let me share first. Okay, let me share first our agenda for tonight. Let's see. No, oh, okay. There you are. Mm, first of all, we are going to start reading and saying dates. After that, we are going to introduce and provide with the ob objectives for unit three. And then we are going to learn about present continuous and talking about future events, things that you have scheduled in your jobs. And then we are going to write an email, okay? Now let's go and see the activity that I was talking about. This is the activity. Okay, let me share this in a different way.
Okay. We are going to match the dates, okay? In this column, we have the description and here we have the dates, okay? We have the dates. What does it match with what, okay? What matches with what here? Let's look. Let's give a look to this column, okay? Let's give a look. So let's take a look about number one, okay? Let's read number one. Can you read number one, Raquel, please? Today is the seventh. Aha. Uh -huh. Today is the seventh. So let's go and look. Johnny. Let's look up for a seventh. December 7th. Oh, good. Good. So number one matches with letter H. 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 Correct. There you are. Oh, we are going to use the, the uh, <clears throat> lower cases. Okay, number two. Number two, can you read it please, Carla, Veronica? It's July 23rd. It's July 23rd, okay? Let's look up a 23rd at July, uh-huh. July 23rd. Okay. Letter I. Letter I. Okay. Letter I, uh-huh. Now, ahora lo que voy a hacer, okay? Le voy a ceder, vamos a ver, vamos a decirle a, uh, let's see. Bueno, le vamos a pedir el favor a Jonathan. We are going to ask the favor. He is going to be your teacher today, okay? He is going to be your teacher. Entonces, él va a dirigir la actividad acá, okay? Él les va a ir preguntando, lea fulanito, lea mi querido compañero, cuál es la respuesta, what is the answer, okay? There you are, Jonathan, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, Vladimir, can you read the number three, please? Okay, it is September win winter. Little F. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Co let's correct this pronunciation. What is the correct pronunciation for this number? Twelve. Everybody say. Twelve. 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 Okay, that's the thing. So you said what letter? F. No. Uh, he say F, letter F. F. Letter okay. F. Great. Okay, number four, Jonathan again. Okay, number four, um, Giovanni. Do you have a meeting on November 13th? Okay. What's the answer? A. That's uh -huh. correct, teacher. <laughs> okay, yes, it is correct. It is correct uh, the, um, the answer because you have to match letter A with number four. But let's see, guys, let's see. How do we pronounce this number? 
How do we pronounce this number? 30. 30th. 30th. Everybody. 30th. 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 Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now we are going to have a new teacher here. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Juan Carlos Palacios, you are going to be our teacher tonight. Tonight, Go ahead. Number five. Uh, excuse me. Uh, que, que yo voy a dirigir. Exactly. You are our teacher. Okay. Uh, can you read uh, Edwin? Number five. Okay. <clears throat> and when's your birthday? It's on March 13th. Little G. Juan Carlos, what do you think? Tell them. No, no mucho, mucho. Wednesday, ¿cuándo cumple año? Anda cerrado. Yes, when's your birthday? Uh, eh, What do you, uh, someone said the answer. Who said the answer? Eh, April 2021. Okay, who said the answer first? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Juan Carlos. Now, let's see, everybody. What was the answer? Someone said letter G. Do you agree? Letter G. It's mm -hmm. March 13th. Ajá. Uh -huh. A ver, ¿por qué sería esta fecha? Letter D. Okay, then. ¿Por qué sería esa fecha? El letter G. Es la fecha de It... mi cumpleaños. Ah, very good. Nice. Ok, but let's see what's the correct answer for this question. Ok. Bye. Ahora ya sabemos cuándo es su cumpleaños, Ana Cristina. Pero ahora veamos cuál es la respuesta correcta para esta pregunta en estas respuestas. Ok, letter G. Tell me why. Tell me why. Porque para decir la fecha de cumpleaños, we don't use a preposition. Ok. We don't use a preposition. We just say it's March 13th, okay? This is the structure to say our birthday, okay? This is the structure to say our birthday. That's why this is correct. So let's see, uh, Carlos Eduardo, you are going to be our teacher now. Uh, Number six, right? It's my second. You are our teacher, so you are going to direct the activity. Ask somebody to read, then ask for the answer. Uh, sorry, uh, Nancy. Um, sorry, uh, my mother birthday is my second. Let her be. Hello. Yes. Uh, number six. My mother' birthday is my second. Okay. Let her be. Let her be my second. Okay. Okay. Correct. There you are. Thank you very much, Carlos. Now let's see who is going to be our teacher. 
Who wants to be our teacher today? Only one, only one, please. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. Okay, Karina, please, you are going to be our teacher tonight. Okay, um, Carla, you can read the number seven. Uh, me. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Tomorrow is Father's Day. Um, a little G, June 17. The answer June 17. Is correct, I think. Little J. We can hear you, teacher. Teacher. Ok, there, there I am. Es que estoy compartiendo la pantalla y entonces uh, moví el mouse, ok, y pasó por desactivar audio. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Ok, uh, Carla, was, uh, Carla had a, confu a confusion with the pronunciation of that letter, ok, because she said letter G, right, at the beginning, but uh, after or later, she corrected and said letter J. Good, Carla. <laughs> okay, yes. Instead of G, right? Because the pronunciation of the, the letter, it's kind of confusing. Okay, good. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. So it is letter la puerta. J. Okay. A ver. Veamos entonces. Let's see then. Number eight. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read? Number eight. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Next Saturday is a Valentine's Day. Okay, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, See February. Very good. Let's say the date. Let's say that date. February. February. Uh -huh. The 14th. The 14th. Yes. So it is letter C. Correct. Number nine. Yes, tell me. Tell me, tell me. Um, si me desconecto, no es porque no quiero recibir la clase, sino que ahorita está lloviendo de demasiado fuerte y aunque estoy en el cuarto, no logro escuchar muy bien y se, me, se queda la señal también. Se cae. Oh. Ok, okay. pero manténgase conectada lo, lo más que pueda, que la saque el sistema, pero usted no se me salga. Ok, okay. please. <laughs> ok, ok. Let's see. Number nine. Can you read number nine, Ana Cristina, please? We, we celebrate Christmas on, on December 24th. 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 Okay. 24th. What is the correct match here? Literally. Letter H H H. H? Mm. Do you think letter H is correct? D D D letter D. Yes, it's letter D. So tell me the date. 
December. December 24th. Excellent. Excellent. So it is letter D. Excellent. Now let's see number 10. Number 10. Uh, Vladimir, read number 10, please. Okay. Uh, uh, no sé, Estados Unidos, no sé si. Yes. Lo yes. pronuncio. Independence yes. Day. Okay, United uh, States. United, United States. States. Okay. Uh huh. Independence Day. Excellent. United uh, States Independence Day. Good. And G. Uh, e. 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 July. E. July. E. July. Okay, For then what July. is the date? What is the date? Say the date. July. July. E, July 4th. Okay, July so 4th. it is excellent. Letter E, July the 4th. Okay, July 4th. It's okay, so now let's see. Let's see, and I'm going to ask everybody here, okay? Let's see, let's see. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I'm going to ask first, and I'm going to say the name of the person that I want to uh, that I want her to answer. Okay, then this person is going to ask the same question to another person. Okay, do you get it? Okay. Okay, I start. Yes. You get it, guys? Yes. I ask the question. Then the person who answers asks the question guiso, again uh, to another guiso. person, okay? Pero significa guiso. So let's see. I'm going to ask. Giovanni, when's your birthday? November 12th. Okay, we say it's November 12th. Okay. It's November 20. 20. Ah, 20th. El guiso es una comida. Yes, yes. Two zero. Okay. Okay, then you have to say it's November the 20th or 20th. Okay. Yes, yes. I want to hear you saying 20th. Twentieth. Twentieth. Excellent. So now you, Giovanni, has to answer the same question to a classmate. When's your birthday? You have to ask. Nancy. When's your birthday? Is April 26th. Sixth. Okay. Sixth. Ajá. ¿Saben qué? Para que podamos eh, ir mejorando en la pronunciación, exageremoslo al principio, ¿ok? No importa que se nos oiga así como que, ¿verdad? Pero que se oiga el sonido para que se grabe en el cerebro, que así es. Y a poco a poco, con la práctica, Ya eso se va a ir suavizando, ¿ok? Pero por el momento, exageren la pronunciación, abran la boca, ¿ok? There you are. Ahora Nancy le pregunta a otro compañero. Nancy ask the same question to a classmate. Ana del Carmen. Eh... It's when's your birthday? When's what? your birthday? When's your when's birthday? your when's, when's when. your birthday? Uh huh. It's September twenty sixth. Excellent. Very good, both of you. Excellent pronunciation, Ana del Carmen. Now let's see. Ana asks the same question to another classmate. 
uh, when you buy their teacher? <laughs> oh, my birthday. My birthday is October 29th. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, you surprised me. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to ask, right? When's your birthday, Edwin? My my birthday it is it is on January fourth. Excellent. Now you ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Yeah. When your prisoner birthday? When your prisoner? Yeah, Kevin, Antonio. Um, X June twelfth. Okay, let's exaggerate that pronunciation. Twelfth. Okay. Twelve. Yeah. Yes. There you are. So now Kevin asks the question to a classmate. Okay. Um, Juan Carlos, when when your birthday? It's. Uh, April 21st. Okay, now Juan Carlos, ask. Uh, when your birthday, birthday, uh, uh, Raquel, you did. My birthday is August 23rd. August? August 26th. Ah, very good. 26th. Six. Six. <laughs> okay, there you are. Now let's see you ask the question, Raquel. When your birthday, Jonathan? My birthday, it's on May 14th. Okay, good. Okay. What's your birthday, Karina? When is your birthday? birthday? It's a April 12th. When's your birthday, Astrid? It's ver it's birthday January 10th. Okay, we say only it's then the month and then the date. So it will be it's it's uh -huh. January January 10th. 10th. Okay, good. Good. Now Astrid ask the same question to a classmate. Uh, Vladimir Santos, when is your birthday? His birthday is August 14. Okay. Muy bien. Uh, recordemos entonces, si decimos, my birthday is, okay, pero si no decimos my birthday, entonces decimos it's en la respuesta. Okay, for example, I'm going to ask again. So when's your birthday? My birthday is, okay, my birthday is, and then I say the date. And then when's your birthday? It's, y ya digo la fecha, okay? Is it correct, everybody? Do you get it? Okay, let's, let's ask Alejandra, when's your birthday? My birthday is um, November 12th. Okay, very good. Very good. Who's missing? Who's missing? I think everybody participated, right? Okay, now let's continue, guys, and let's go to see the introduction of the new topic, okay? This is our new topic. 
for tonight or for this week? There it is. In our manuals, in our manuals, we're going to find this topic, scheduled events at the workplace. Scheduled events at the workplace. What's the topic, guys? Scheduled even at the workplace. Excellent. Now, everybody, what's the topic for this unit? Schedule at the workplace. Excellent. At the workplace. Okay. Do you remember what, what is a schedule? Do you remember? Excuse me? Calendario. Calendario. Um, well, schedule. Programación. Yes. That's the best um, translation, yeah. Uh, like a program of activities and times and also with the responsibles to do that activity, right? So those are like a timetable, a timetable where you write the activity, the time that you have to do that activity and also they're responsible for doing that activity. Okay, then that's a schedule. So we are going to talk about scheduled events at the workplace. Y en su trabajo, este, ¿tienen actividades programadas? Do you have scheduled activities in your jobs? Do you? Who schedules? Meeting. The, uh, uh, yes, good. And who is the responsible to schedule the activities in your workplace? Who is the responsible to schedule the activities in your workplace? Who is it? For example, let's see. Um, Kevin, in your workplace. Who is that responsible to schedule your activities? Um, Attends claims. Okay. Those are the activities, right? Um, Esas son las actividades que usted tiene programadas. But who is the person in charge of Making the schedule. ¿Quién es la persona responsable de hacer esa programación? Who is the responsible for a schedule those activities? The boss. Okay. Then you can say, my boss is, right? My boss is. Okay. So... Um, is there anyone here that is responsible to schedule activities for your coworkers or for some colleagues? Is there anyone here to schedule uh, that schedule activities? Pero <laughs> Hay alguien aquí en el grupo que sea responsable de programar las actividades de su unidad o, o sus propias actividades en el trabajo? No. Okay. No. Are you Ana del Carmen? No, teacher, no. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask a different question. Are you free to schedule your own activities? Are you free to schedule your own activities? Or to organize your time? 
in the workplace? Or you have established the time that you do something? Teacher, en, mi, en mi caso, espero información en cierta fecha mm -hmm. para presentar en Hacienda, seguro. No sé cómo se puede decir eso. Okay, then you have scheduled activities, but you have to wait for the right time. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to wait for the right time. Okay, good. Then let's continue with this and let's see the objective. I'm going to present the objective for this unit. Okay. This unit is the time for you to describe future work events and ongoing activities at the workplace, asking and providing specific information about temporary situations as well. Okay, what is the important here? What is the important thing here? The important thing is that you are going to learn to learn a new tense. Van a aprender un nuevo tiempo del verbo, de los verbos, okay? De las actividades, de las acciones. So we are going to learn about the future, okay? We're going to learn about the future in this unit. And uh, to start in this class, we are going to learn how to use the present continuous to describe future events, present continuous. Remember, unit one and unit two, we studied simple present. Do you remember? Simple present. And now we are going to learn the present continuous, okay? Do you know what is the present continuous? Do you know what is the present continuous? No teacher. No? No. Okay, it's a progression, okay? Or is the progressive? It means that this tense is used to say things that I'm doing in this very moment, but I can use this tense to express things in a future, in a near future, okay? In a near future or planned future. Ok. ¿Cómo se compone el presente continuo? Let's see. The present continuous, it's made or compound by the pronoun, the verb to be, and the ing verb form. Ok, you see, ING, todos los verbos en este caso que vamos a utilizar van a terminar con ING, ING, ¿qué significa esto? Que vamos a usar gerunds, un gerundio, ¿verdad? Gerunds. What is the idea here? Let's see. I am teaching now. Okay, I am teaching now, correct? So I am teaching. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, you are learning. learning. Okay, we use ing at the end of the verb. This is the gerund form, okay? Or ing form, okay? Now, for the third person, for the third person, we say he is reading, for example. Let's see, what is Edwin doing? Uh, he is reading, okay? What is Ana del Carmen doing? She is writing, okay? She is writing, okay? Es, es como agregarle endo, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. That's the ending of this kind of, uh, or this form of the verb. 
okay? That we are doing the thing now, ando endo, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. So let's see, it is raining at this very moment, at this very moment, okay? It is raining. Now let's see, next one, we are paying attention, paying attention. Now let's see for day, they are sleeping, sleeping. So this structure, this structure, is made by the verb to be plus the ing verb form. ¿verdad? Aquí vemos el verbo to be conjugado. Lo tenemos que conjugar correctamente con las personas que nos toca. Si es tercera persona, es is. ¿Verdad? Si es usted o tú, es are. Si es yo, si soy yo. Um, um. Si somos nosotros, if all of us are, right. or if they are. are, correct. So now let's see again. Let's see again and let's see if we got it correct. If we got it correct. Now let's see. What do you think this person is doing? What is this person doing? He's talking. Okay, we could say he is talking. That's a very good answer. But he's talking on the phone, right? So uh, what can we say about that? Mm -hmm. He is talking. Aha, aquí también utilizamos contracciones, chicos. Okay, aquí también utilizamos contracciones. Acuérdense que las contracciones son para escucharnos más fluidos cuando hablamos, ¿verdad? Para no decir, he is talking. Okay. A menos que querramos hacer un énfasis, ¿verdad? Si queremos enfatizar lo que está haciendo, entonces decimos, he is talking. Ah, es un énfasis. Pero si es una plática normal, then he's talking. Okay, he's talking. Now, let's think another Another sentence. Pensemos en otra oración que podamos usar con esta persona. What is this person doing? Oh, he is listening. Okay, very good. He is listening. Okay. Now let's see another. He, he, he is calling. He's calling. Good. Excellent. ¿Cómo es la actividad que nosotros ya conocemos? La actividad en presente simple es make call, ¿verdad? Make calls. Entonces, oops. Did you see? Power went out. 